Customs for me has been my happy place lately. It's also been my unhappy place. That's just not making sense to me. I don't know if I want to play. I'm not going to lie. But overall, mostly, it's been not bad. Customs tends to free up my mind from the day-to-day -day clutter and allows me to be the person that I know I'm supposed to be. Wilt. W-I-L-L apostrophe N-T. Wilt. I think I just invented a word. And sometimes, if we're all lucky enough, Customs presents us, mainly me, with an opportunity, a chance to score big. Alright, a little context. So I'm scabbing on customs, right? I make my way to the three-story dorms, invent a new word, wilt, then hear footsteps, followed by this short burst of gunfire. So I go looking for a scrap. I march up to the third floor, short barrel Mosin in hand. I cautiously look down towards Mark room, half expecting some Giga Chad to jump out and mow me down, but that didn't happen. So I go room by room, looking for the cause of that earlier ruckus. Eventually, I stumble out onto the roof and hit the jackpot. Mysterious dead man with seemingly no other person anywhere near me. Now, I'm no fool. I know it wasn't the slow development cycles of Tarkov that killed this man. Kidding. Love you, BSG. So it had to be another player. I figured I had time to loot since I know I'd hear anyone else come up behind me. So loot I did. I took that dead man for all he was worth. Then I decided to go looking for the murderer so I could murder him and teach him that you shouldn't be murdering. You ever start to say a word so much that it doesn't sound right anymore? Anyway, I look around for a while, but no dice. No PMC either. The clock is ticking, so it's time I got out. On the way to Smuggler's Boat though, I found another poor soul who had left this world too soon. Took his backpack for myself, then extracted at the sniper roadblock. One of America's favorite pastimes is taking the gear you find on your scav run and using it on a PMC run. I find that it can lead to a bunch of new experiences and, for me, potential YouTube content. So I choose to deploy on customs because god damn it, it's a good map and I love playing it. I meandered around for a while, looting little knickknacks here and there, and then eventually I heard the sound of animals fighting. Great band. I narrowed it down to the construction area and found this little meerkat looking pretty lost. I helped him find the afterlife and then dipped my toe in the pool of loot that he had almost undoubtedly created. It was here that I found many goodies, including a mystery helmet. I love those. You see, this whole wipe, there are a few helmets that simply will not f***ing load for me no matter what I do. It's just infinite spinny wheel until the day I wither away. Resetting my cache doesn't help. And that's the most effort I'm willing to put in to fixing this dilemma. Ball's in your court, Nikita. Anyways, we had gone from this to this, and I was feeling pretty good about the way this YouTube video was coming along. Although technically in the moment, I wasn't thinking about turning this into a video just yet. I will though at some point soon, and I'll point out the exact moment when that happens. I stopped inside the construction tower to take a gander at the mystery helmet, and discovered it was a bastion with the ever so expensive slap plate on top. This is some cream of the crop headwear. If you take the price of the bastion, add it to the price of the slap plate at the exact moment that I screenshotted them off of the flea market, then combine that with just a pinch of YouTube clickbait. Then you have a 1 million ruble party hat that did absolutely nothing at all for the guy I got it from. So I picked through the rest of the corpses around me, then dashed over to the Ruaf extraction. A fine PMC run if I do say wow. so myself. I offloaded my treasures, then dove headfirst back into customs with the same gear as before. Now remember when I mentioned I'd point out the exact moment that my little noggin started cooking up the idea to turn this whole gameplay segment into a YouTube video? That happened right around the time I was crossing the old junk bridge here. And that is where I f***ed up. You see, now I had it in my head that this whole thing had to have some epic conclusion. You know, for the sake of a good story, a good YouTube video. And now that there was something on the line for me, it was time to choke harder than the Dallas Cowboys ever could. So I did. Right here when I thought I heard someone, exclaimed out loud that I thought I heard someone. I swear to God somebody's behind me. Then died to him. Yes, while I spawned at the end of the train, the tool man spawned at Smuggler's Boat. Didn't expect that one, in case you were wondering. Our great Zero to Hero run had ended. I'd lost the gear and the bastion that didn't help me nor the guy I got it from. Oh well though, you gotta get back on the horse. Or in this case, back on the scav. Wandering around the center of the map, I stumbled across a dead man. 
Buckshot was his name. That was also what he had in his rig. I like the continuity there. You see, Buckshot had been killed by Godly02, spelled with an X, so you know he means business. So, it was time to search for Godly02 next. Turns out he was right next to Buckshot. That saved me a lot of time. And when you know it, he was kitted. A true Giga Chad. And he had a mystery helmet, which was a bastion, and yes, it had the slap plate. What are the odds? Two scav runs, two bastions with plates. I love that for me. So here I am on top of the world. New kit, SR25, built the way I like to see it. And my extract was Factory Shacks, which is this little two-story right here that I'm next to. How I wish I had taken it. The rush of Tarkov was flowing through me at this point. I was hot. I was ready for anything. So I decided to keep going. I looked to see who had killed God Leo 2, and turns out he got hit with a grenade launcher of all things, probably the one nicely conveniently stationed at the fortress. It was a fellow named I Doges that had killed him. So naturally it was time to find I Doges. I made my way towards some gunfire I heard towards old gas station. As fast as I could, I ran. I wanted the smoke. I wanted the win. I saw a casualty of war against the wall to my left. I zigged to my right, then I heard it. And next, saw it. What I had in front of me there, ladies and gentlemen, was a chance at greatness. I need you to understand, everything I do, I do it for the gram. And like I mentioned shortly after this clip played out, even Tom Brady sometimes throws an incomplete pass. So when you see me throw this grenade, and I very clearly overshoot it, then start getting laid out by old boy up there, panic fire, miss everything, then die. You need to know that if I had hit that, you guys would see me as a hero right now, instead of a fool. But I didn't. So a fool, I am. Check, one, two. And here's the part where I ask you guys to hit the subscribe button, and if you really enjoyed this video, hit the little bell icon as well. I love making these videos for you guys, and your free sub gives me a ton of motivation to keep going. Also, thank you so much to the patrons who help fund videos like this one. Thanks, guys. If you're still here and really want to check out another video similar to this one, maybe watch This Customs Marked Room Run Blew My Mind, or whatever my most recent video is. Sometimes LeBron misses the three-pointer. And sometimes Finest throws the grenade in the wrong spot. Spot? Spot?